was out of the war. Peace had been restored to the world. And this was the sequence of events beginning August 30th, 1945, when Allied elements went ashore at the Yokosuka Naval Base in Tokyo Bay. Allied fleets had already moved into Japanese home waters and anchored there. The stage was being set for the formal surrender and the beginning of the occupation of Japan. This then was the process of taking over important bases from which the Japanese had initiated futile campaigns in the Pacific. At 12 minutes after 11 a.m. Tokyo time, three hours after the Allies went ashore, the Yokosuka Naval Base was surrendered by its commanders. Earlier in Manila, troops of the 11th Airborne and the 27th Divisions were prepared for flight to Atsugi Airfield outside Tokyo. Their aircraft was clearly marked as to the destination, and it was eager crews which would fly the victory cargoes of men and equipment into the Japanese capital, viewing MacArthur's dramatic arrival for the surrender and occupation of Japan. Later, following the entry of the first occupation troops, the famed 1st Cavalry Division, Liberators of Manila, the American Embassy in Tokyo was to be taken over by General MacArthur with a memorable ceremony. Raised over the embassy was the United States flag, which had flown over the capital in Washington, D.C. on December 7, 1941, when Pearl Harbor was attacked. It had flown over Rome and Berlin after their captures, and now flew above the last Axis capital to symbolize final victory.